I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. That's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru's spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And? How did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> Oh? What makes you say that? Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from... certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? D-Dainsmith? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. 
Dainsleth, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me? Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya, or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. No, it's just, I'm still waiting for my drink. 